Hey guys, this is a little tutorial here um, with PC Master JJ. Today I'm going to show you how to make your voice sound robotic. I'm going to use a program called Audacity. Uh, it's a free program, uh, great for using any, for recording any kind of sound or you want, if you want to change the sound uh, or music, anything you want to do with it. Uh, it's a free program and I'll probably provide you with a link uh, on where to get it below the video. So after you got Audacity downloaded, uh, you're going to open it up. This is the better version, by the way. Um, you're gonna want to record whatever you want to make your voice sound robotic. So uh, you're gonna press this record button to record your voice. Uh, so I'll just do something simple like uh, "Welcome to PCMasterJJ.com." Okay. After you got your uh, whatever you want to say out, you're gonna press the stop button to stop it from recording. Uh, then after you have your piece recorded, you're gonna want to select it. Just like that. Then you go up to Echo, or I'm sorry, Effect. Uh, it's right after it goes File, Edit, View, Transport, Tracks, Generate, and then Effect. After you click Effect, go down to Echo. Okay, and then uh, your settings for this might be a little bit different depending on the computer. So you're gonna want to change the delay time to uh, let's go 0 0.006. And then change the decay factor to um, uh, let's go 0 0.5 uh, 7. I'll provide these numbers uh, below the video. Then it's just if you can't um, understand what I was saying, or you just want to make sure that you had the right numbers. Uh, and after you're done typing those numbers in, press OK. After it's done performing the echo. Uh, it's a little bit, sounds a little bit more robotic, but just to make it uh, a little bit more crisp and more robotic-ish, if you want to use that word, uh, you're going to go do the same thing again, click effect, go down to echo, and then make sure your uh, settings are still the same way, your, de your delay time should still be 0 0.006, and then your decay factor should still be 0.7. After you make sure those are okay, press OK. Wait for it to, pour, to, to perform the echo again. And then click to make sure that your video sounds good. It should sound something like this. Uh, right there. As you can see, it's pretty good. Um, after you're satisfied with the sound that you recorded, you are going to go to File, Export. Make sure you don't go to save project because that only saves um, the file as where you can go and redo what you did in Audacity. To make it actually sound like the sound the sound that you can use in other programs and upload to YouTube or whatever, uh, you're going to go to export and then you're going to save it as type. You can do whatever you want, but most programs use WAV if you're a PC. Uh, I'm not sure about Max because obviously you can see I'm a PC. So save it as whatever type of file you want. Uh, file name, just do whatever. And then click save. You can also change the artist name, track title, album title, stuff like that. Uh, not big on it, but you know, if you want to make it sound professional, I guess. Uh, and then after you're done, after you're done um, editing those settings, you know, click OK, and you're done. Alright guys, thanks for watching, and uh, please subscribe.